What is going on YouTube? It's Mac Tutorials 14 here and we're back in our video as you guys can see and so today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 6.1.3 slash 6.1.4 slash 6.1.5 fully untethered using post expone. I hope everyone had a happy and safe new year and more videos to come. Alright guys, so before uh, we get into this tutorial, I do want to mention to you guys that it is very vital that you guys back up your device before you actually progress with this jailbreak. Um, just in case anything goes wrong, um, that way you have a backup in case anything goes wrong and you can restore without losing anything. So anyway guys, as you guys can see, I am on Post Exponed's website. It will be down in the description below, um, as well as um, because uh, these uh, links actually um, come up in uh, a mega cause um, thing, which is only supported by Google Chrome so that the download link will be down below um, but anyway guys if you know your stop post expone um, basically it was an untethered tool for um, iOS 6.1.3 and iOS 6.1.5 uh, um, it was an untethered package available on City, and you can con you can uh, convert a tethered jailbreak to an untethered jailbreak but anyway as you can see it says an iOS 6.1.3 slash 6.1.4 slash 6.1.5 fully untethered jailbreak for all devices so as you can see it's a Mac there's a Mac link Mac OS X and Windows um, but anyway guys yeah so Windows did not drop yet as of the making of this video um, but I will post that um, so as you can see it opens up in a mega cause window um, so as you can see um, I do have um, the mega thing up there so I already have a copy and pasted on Google Chrome so I'm gonna up, up I'm gonna um, open it up in Google Chrome so I'm just gonna press command V as you guys can see and now I'm going to enter uh, press enter and as you can see it will take a couple of minutes to download which is why I sped this portion of the video off so it says download it to your computer and now it's starting as you guys can see it whips by really fast because I sped it up as you guys will be able to see but anyway guys so um yeah so that is so it's done downloading it will appear in your downloads folder it is a dot zip for the Mac um, so anyway let's minimize these windows because we don't need them at this point um, and now we're going to see this download all you're going to do is tap that once as you guys can see See and it will on archive using archive utility max um, default on archiver and um, now it, it will uh, on archive into an application so we're going to double tap on that and now it'll say uh, post expone is an application downloaded from the internet are you sure you want to open it so we're just going to press open as you guys can see and now it'll say welcome to post expone and iOS 6.1.3 slash 6.1.4 slash 6.1.5 um, use your land jailbreaking program make a backup of your device before proceeding uh, plug your device in to begin so this is where we plug in our device as you guys can see through USB um, using the required cables depending upon your device um, so it's a 6.1.3 slash 6 uh, through 6.1.5 um, jailbreak uh, it's untethered for all devices um, so anyway guys let's plug this into our computer and you will see that it registers, it detects it. Um, so as you guys can see, it, it detects an iPod Touch 4th generation with iOS 6.1.5. It is detected. Click Jailbreak to begin. So all we're going to do is just press Jailbreak, as you guys can see. So it's gathering information to generate Jailbreak data. As you guys can see, it is uh, sped up a little bit, setting initial data. Um, so uh, it will reboot several times, waiting for reboot. Do not unplug your device. And all of this is normal. So anyway, guys, I did speed this up a lot because I want to make sure you guys aren't just sitting here watching for the whole time. And, um, you know, you guys are really um, bored to death so that's why um, you know I sped this up so it's waiting for the device uh, it will reboot the device in just a second as you can see it says restore in progress remounting root um, so it will it will have that screen where it says uh, restore in progress sending Cydia an untethered payload to device um, to the device um, so now it's going to reboot as you guys can see and I did speed this uh, portion of the video up as well so your device is now jailbroken it is now preparing to reboot automatically so as you guys can see um, it is done as you guys can see uh, I did speed this portion of the video up as well um, where it is uh, booting up for the first time um, so it will reboot and it will send us to the lock screen um, and it will tell us to unlock our device, not on the tool, um, but that's just common sense. So anyway, um, we will be back at the lock screen in a second and I will show you guys what to do. Um, so just give it a couple more seconds to reboot. 
Let's give it a little while. And as you can see, you will see um, in a couple seconds, there's a loading bar um, below the Apple logo. Um, that is probably simple. I don't know if that's because of the jailbreak or not, but I think that's because I newly restored my device. So if you don't see that, uh, do not freak out. That might not be normal. Anyway, so uh, slide to the right once, open up Cydia. So now it's preparing file system. Cydia will exit when complete. Um, so if you guys um, are familiar, if you guys jailbroke iOS 6 through iOS 6.1.2, you guys may be familiar with the screen. It takes a while, so I did speed this up as you guys can see so um yeah guys so it does um reboot as you guys can see uh so here's the apple logo and then we are back at the lock screen so let's slide to unlock once as you guys can see swipe to the right one time and as you can see there is Cydia. um so as you can see let's open that up right now as you see it says who are you so here's the user hacker and developer thing so i'm just going to press user and then we're going to hit done so just let me press user now and we're going to hit done and now it's going to uh so now here's it loads up on um, the 1.1.9 Cydia as you guys can see. Um, so as you guys can see, one uh, iPod Touch fourth generation iOS 6.1.5 Cydia 1.1.9. Um, so as that's uh, that's pretty cool. So um, anyway, guys, um, this is the uh, fully updated uh, Cydia that Sariq just pushed out. Um, you know, a little less, a little over a week ago. So as you can see, uh, all your search tabs and everything work. So uh, um, anyway, so here's the moment of truth, guys. I'm going to be installing um, Winterboard, a popular jailbreak uh, tweak that actually on first install it actually requires you to reboot your device. So which is why I'm actually showing you guys um, that this is the moment of truth and um, we will see if this is a untethered jailbreak or not. So as you guys can see, um, we are here. So I'm just going to click install. And now I'm going to click and uh, confirm. And now it's, I sped this uh, portion of the video up as well. And it's going to uh, go through the installation process, loading, and it's going to say reboot device. Now, you you may notice that it won't, uh, when you click reboot, it won't reboot. So I'm going to reboot that myself. I don't know why. It's it's a problem with my iPod Touch. Um, so anyway, uh, slide to power off. As you can see, it's not a problem with my iPod Touch. It's just a problem with it right now. I don't know why it's not working. But anyway, uh, I sped the boot up, up again, so that way you wouldn't be sitting here. So anyway, uh, we should be back up at the lock screen fairly soon. So anyway, here's the Apple logo. As you guys can see, it is doing... Um, um, a fantastic job. Um, this is really a, a no sweat um, kind of tool. Um, you really don't need anything um, other than like five minutes of your of your time um, without uh, you know with your uh, with your computer, and then after that you are on your own uh, with your device. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, here we are back up at the lock screen as you guys can see. So now I'm just going to slide to unlock as you guys can see right now. So I'm going to slide to unlock and then swipe to the right once. And as you can see, there is Cydia and Winterboard. So um, to confirm that this is an untethered jailbreak, all we're going to do, and I did uh, power it on and off um, in front of you without um, the help of any, without rebooting it, uh, without the help of any uh, jailbreak tool. Um, or, you know, software for the computer. So as you can see, uh, we did uh, load up Cydia. So um, as you guys can see, that's, you know, the load up screen. So it's 1.1.9, 1 uh, nothing really changed. Um, and you can go through all the tabs, manage, whatever you want, um, sources, packages, um, whatever you want. But anyway, here's the winter board. Um, let's tap on winter board. And as you can see, you can select themes. Um, you can select the themes you want, install them, and respring them. But anyway, guys, um, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. That was how to jailbreak iOS 6.1.3 slash 6.1.4 slash 6.1.5. All devices um, using And also, stuff. guys, don't forget to subscribe. Um, that really helps me out. Also, leave a like. Um, that really helps me out. And guys, make sure sure to follow my official Twitter um, for my channel as well as my official Instagram. Um, both are linked to my channel and they will be linked down below. But anyway guys, I hope you like this video. Please rate, like, comment, subscribe, and favorite this video. But anyway guys, that about does it for now. And I guess for now, I will talk to you guys later.